Hey, my name is Luke Terhayden. I'm the author of Cloud Cleaner for vCloud Director, and I'd just like to take you through a brief walkthrough of how Cloud Cleaner works. So in order to use Cloud Cleaner, of course, you need to have a cloud that needs to be cleaned, and that is vCloud Director. So here I have my own instance of vCloud Director running. Uh, let's switch over to my organization here. There we go. And I have four vApps and a handful of VMs that are installed, are created. And uh, it's not the most impressive instance of vCloud Director, but it'll work for our purposes. So I'm going to create a vApp here for you in case you're not that familiar with how vCloud Director works. So I just give my vApp a name, devenv1, and I'm going to pick a couple of VMs from my catalog here to make a development environment. I'll add a LAMP dev machine and an Oracle machine to act as my database server. Wait for this page to load. And default storage is um, fine. The network, I'm going to use OrgNet 1, so both my machines have access to the internet. Click Next, click Done, and that's pretty much all there is to creating a vApp for use in vCloud Director. While that's being created, we can take a look at the vSphere client, and you can see that some stuff is going on. My machines are being cloned and configured and created for my new vApp. In vCD, we have a little progress bar going. This shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. And voila, I have a new development environment that my users can use. But back to Cloud Cleaner, um, we're going to want to actually dump our vCloud Director instance. So when you uninstall vCloud Director and when you get rid of all the settings in the database, unfortunately your VCs are left with all these artifacts remaining on them. Uh, as I step through my VCD system settings here, you can see I have a handful of different entities, network pools, external networks, provider VDCs, or VDCs, and so on. And unfortunately, in VC, they remain even after you remove vCloud Director. So that's where Cloud Cleaner comes into play. We're going to remove all of these items and put VC back into a pristine state, either to be used with a new instance of vCloud Director, or just to be used for whatever your purposes are. Okay, so on to Cloud Cleaner. I've downloaded cloudcleaner.jar from the Fling page here. And if I'm on Windows, I can just double click this jar and up comes Cloud Cleaner with this nice UI. And it go ahead it goes ahead and prompts me for my VC credentials. Um, but I'm gonna close this for the time being. Uh, if you're on Mac or Linux or any other um, OS that supports Java, from the command line, you can just type, um, after you download cloudcleaner.jar, you can just type java-jar cloudcleaner.jar, and it will execute Cloud Cleaner in the exact same way. You'll get this nice UI that pops up, and you're good to go. If you have a more advanced use case, you can use the dash dash help parameter, and you get all these nice um, command line um, attributes that you can use to run Cloud Cleaner headless. So you can use this in your scripts um, or in your advanced use case scenarios in order to make cleaning your VCs um, really straightforward and automatic. Uh, but anyway, let's show you how the GUI works. So I'm going to need my vCenter IP. So here back in vSphere client, I can see my IP is here. And I'm just going to key that right into my Cloud Cleaner window. give it my super secret username and password. Okay, only mark items created by vCloud Director. So the default usage is we just want to remove um, VCD, vCloud Director stuff. But if you wanted to wipe an entire VC for some reason, you could untick that box and we'll go ahead and just detect everything that exists and remove it for you. Um, VC SSL certificates, we will try to validate them. Um, most of the time, though, you can just ignore this because most of the time um, VCs are run on an intranet, internal, and they're not really exposed outside of your intranet. So we're just going to go ahead and let this, this run. 
Cloud Cleaner runs very, very quickly here. You can see it gets rapidly populated with your VC entities. Entities on the left, we've detected that they've been created by vCloud Director, and we've put the hosts here um, so we can uninstall the host agents. Items on the right are um, things that we detected that were already in VC or were created outside of vCloud Director, and we're not going to mess with those. Like you can see my two virtual machines there, um, NFS1 and NFS2, which I created outside of vCloud Director as my, my separate NFS servers. And they're safely on that right pane, and they're not going to be messed with. Um, if you do, if you see some false positives or false negatives, or if there's just stuff, extra stuff you want to clean, go ahead and drag it from the right uh, pane, drop it onto the left pane, and we'll go ahead and clean it for you, just like that. And the vice, vice versa is also true. Okay, and here I'm going to add uh, a second VC that was also being used by vCloud Director. It's going to scan. And this is fine. In Cloud Cleaner, you can add as many VCs as you want, and we will go ahead and clean them all at the same time. Again, um, Cloud Cleaner uses up to 5,000 simultaneous threads, so it can handle pretty large loads of, uh, of VCs and their uh, entities and rapidly clean those for you. Here you see I can drag and drop from the left back to the right if I want, take a look, verify that everything looks good, and once I'm satisfied, I can hit the big Start Cleaning button. I'll be prompted for my host credentials here. So I'll go ahead and enter that in. We'll try to use these host credentials for all the hosts, um, which usually works. Uh, most people use the same uh, login and password for all their, their VCD hosts. But if we, if we detect that that doesn't work, um, Cloud Cleaner will intelligently just prompt you again for some new credentials. So you can see on the right here, lots of stuff is happening. A lot of entities are being removed. Simultaneously, if you have the vSphere client open like I do on the left, you can also see a lot of activity happening in vSphere client. Things are being removed. Uh, these hosts get put uh, temporarily into maintenance mode, um, so the host agents can be uninstalled, and then they're, of course, taken back out of maintenance mode once that uh, step is complete. And there you have it. We have success. Everything is done. Everything's completed. Uh, you can see my, my NFS boxes are here and untampered with. They're nice and safe. Um, you can see in this bottom pane here, lots of stuff has happened. Lots of things were deleted and cleaned. Uh, in the Cloud Cleaner log at the bottom here, you can also get a very detailed log of exactly what Cloud Cleaner did. Uh, it's maybe not so easy to read here, but you can copy and paste this out of this little pane into Notepad or whatever, and you can take a closer look at that if you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the basic usage of Cloud Cleaner. Pretty straightforward. Um, in the directory that you run Cloud Cleaner, uh, cloudcleaner.ini file gets saved along with an SSS, uh, SSL key store. And if you choose to save your passwords, don't worry, we save them encrypted. Um, so you can feel safe about that. And that's pretty much it. That's a simple walkthrough. Um, I hope that um, you find Cloud Cleaner um, as easy to use as, uh, as I've tried to intend it to be. If you have any problems or any further questions, or definitely if you have any feature requests, please feel free to uh, drop me an email at any time. Again, my name is Luke Turhayden, and um, thanks for listening.